The following is a presentation of Morning Drive Media. time my friends we are going to continue the building of the u-wing here on brick building with ken we uh we've got bricks and we've got ken look at this u-wing this u-wing is uh taking me too long quite frankly but it's a you know it's a it's a fair size set look at look at the it's a convertible. I'll get Jen and Cassie in there. So, uh, hello everybody watching on YouTube and watching on Twitch. Uh, it's been a bit. Uh, I was all uh, all set to uh, stream last week. All set to continue the adventures of the U Wing build. Uh, when uh, a, a repair man, very good guy, does great work, showed up two hours late. Uh, I don't think he's ever been on time since uh, he's worked on our house, and uh, I just couldn't clear him. And then uh, there was the um, stream going on last week, the Smash Cancer Kevin Smith's uh, uh, charity stream, uh, the, the the big 24-hour one. And I just felt it wouldn't be right. By the time I was uh, up and ready, I was like, yeah, no, that's going on. I shouldn't compete with that. So I hope uh, hope you all watch that. Uh, the, and uh, hashtag Smash Cancer. Uh, support our friend Kevin Smith's all that good stuff as he fights. Uh, Chatted with him again a little bit this week. Uh, he's 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 fighting um, as one would expect. So, um, anyways, uh, don't forget about that, and don't forget about uh, silly stuff too, which is brick building. Brick building with Ken. We got Graham Gray Jackal Butler here, Lauren Romo. Oh, look at that! Christy McGee is actually free on a Sunday evening. Interesting that you'd call it an evening. We all know it's two thirty. The time zones. Come on. So we did have a late start to our day here. We did. Uh, we uh, just got just got some coffee. Look at Jen or so. Jen or so. Cassie and Andor. So we are on to bag three. Bag three here. So I think it's almost time to switch the camera. Uh, though, look, I want to look at this hat. Look at that. Look at that. Bag three. That is uh, the logo of the El Paso Chihuahuas Triple A affiliate, uh, right? Triple A affiliate or Double A affiliate for the Diamondbacks? Reno's the Triple A affiliate, so maybe they're Double A affiliate. Uh, but anyways, I finally picked up the hat um, to represent. Uh, this is pretty accurate to uh, our Chihuahuas in our house. So there you go. Do they come breaded? Graham Gray Jackal Butler causing problems already with the dogs. All right, let's go to the non-Ken face version. 
though I got a new polo, new, new hoodie, not polo, hoodie. Uh, I need to get Holly Springs Salamanders cap. I'll I'll wear that old hands huh? I love minor league teams. I love their logos and, and all the kind of old timey baseball. Support minor league baseball. Major League Baseball doesn't really want to at times. All right. Bag three. Paging bag three. Paging Mr. Herman. Mr. Herman, you have a call in the front desk. All right. Albuquerque. I got to get the Albuquerque one there. What's up, Jenna Houston? Uh, I got to get the Albuquerque one. It's the isotopes now. And I missed out on the opportunities to watch them play when I was there. I regret that to this day. The game had started. It was like second inning. Go, whatever. Go and get a hot dog. Bag three is here. Bueller. Bueller. Alex Corey's here. How about the latest episode? Excuse me. Latest adventures of the Baby Yoda show. Yeah. Good stuff. No spoilers for those who haven't watched it, but pretty good. Pretty good. I gave it a B plus with a spike because of uh, some cool reveals. And v is here. All right. Let's... Let's do this first. Let's clear out this puppy. Crinkles. Christy's getting there. She understands. Are we want who's watching? We got a couple people watching on YouTube. I uh, Twitch is mostly where this is, and that's understand. Oh, we got some subscription reups. Highway Johnnyman, Lauren Romo. Uh Brennan Marr, he's got that great podcast. Uh, Paige Turner's There Were Not, as well as, uh, Lord, don't forget, Lauren Romo's Galactic Podcast. Kurt Galloway, Old Handsaw, who is the associate producer of a, of a little show called Saturday Night Naps. Uh, Alice Corey says, also, anyone see the Art of Rebels book is half off on Amazon. Ooh. The stream is the conclusion of the Ewing trilogy. You know what, Johnny? It's not. It's going to be a trilogy in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy set. It'll probably be a five-part trilogy. Oh, 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 got a hockey goalie that. Oh, look at that. She doesn't come around these parts. Uh, she's uh, busy being a superstar because she is. Uh, Bador, the mother of puppies, is here. I kid you, Bador. How are you? No, seriously, how are you? Good to have you here. Good to have you here. Don't lose that minifig. Yeah. Ricky, don't lose that minifig. All right. Bistan, rebel soldier. JD's here. Walking on sunshine. Uh oh, oh, sub hype for the door 34 months. I think that's one of the longest running subs for me. I think so, right? Bedore? Bedore, I am, uh, I'm good, I'm better than I was last week. Um, we're all trying to get through this, all right? We're almost there, right? Hold on. Hold on for one more day. I know that there is pain. Okay. Building. Oh, and the Lego the Child looks great. Is it is it Lego the Child or is it Lego Yoda? I mean, right there the same. Uh, according to there is a uh, bags inside of bags. Bag four for me. Uh, Ken has hopped up on candy corn. Ken has not hopped up on candy corn. But I'll tell you what, a local um, residentially challenged individual is, I saw him eating it last night <laughs> after I released that SNN ep episode. The best jokes are the real jokes. Okay. Should be Lego the Chad, but it's Lego Yoda. Huh? But I, I got to get that, that Razor Crest, man. It's one thing again, trying to not uh, avoid uh, avoiding spoilers if possible, not saying spoilers. This week's Mando made me really love the Razor Crest as a ship, as a Star Wars ship. I'd been great with it. I like the design, but now I just like, oh yeah, it's got some great sounds to it. Great sequence. So, all right, let's build uh, Bistan 
Bistan. Hey, Star Wars Alice is uh, here. How'd that guy? <laughs> How'd that guy? Kyle's here. What's up, Kyle? I don't know how he heard. I don't know how he heard. Johnny. Angry Johnny. This is Star Wars Alice is angry and grumpy. First rate Nate says, I'll send you the Razor Crest, buddy. That sounds like a threat, first rate Nate. I'll send it. I'll send it. Christian underscore seven with a sub, five months of resub. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, I sorry. Um much to uh Bedore's chagrin. I Bedore acts like she doesn't get mad, but um I work so hard to try to get my Twitch page build up. And I start uh, Pepper and Bedore with questions about how to make uh, myself a Twitch superstar. And then just when I start to really put the foot on the gas, life uh, comes in the way and other projects. And Twitch is always kind of the first to go to the back burner. And uh, I'm just going to have to accept that for right now. Um, mm, 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 mm. Vermont Mike, Alex Corey is here. I was listening to you and Joseph talk about Lucas's original trilogy ideas. Small talent. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, Abernathy Raw, uh, 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 here. Oh, there you go. Bedore's going to come on over and visit us here in Detroit, huh? Okay. Look at that. Look at that. Grump, 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 says Alice. Alice is a grump. That's okay, Alice. You can be grumpy. Oh, gift hus sub hype. See, look, Bedore is the is the best cheer and hype monitor of all time. Uh, you know, uh, other people do uh, great in her absence. She's just on it. Yeah, Alice, it's okay. If you're feeling grumpy today, feel grumpy. That's me most of my time, right? Most of my days are me being grumpy. Especially when I have to build. Someone say Detroit? Uh, you know, Lauren, I've decided I probably have to uh, press pause on the Detroit jokes, which are just always good natured from me. But I think right now with the recent, uh, you know, efforts in Michigan to help a, a greater cause, I think uh, it's best for me to just uh, let Detroit off the hook for a little bit. because I don't want people to misunderstand that I was always just joking. Right. You agree with that, Lauren? Um, I can't. Rem oh, I have that poll. Okay, wait for Twitch. You oh boy, this I I was going to create a poll. I have that Twitch poll option, and I was going to do the over under. We'll probably have to do that here. Um, oh, uh, we got ourselves a nice, good old fashioned uh, uh, spam comment. But I I want to be famous. It's like they heard me. I want to be famous, the star of the screen. You could do something in between. Baby, you can drive my car. Uh, hey, look at that. Matty D, the spirit of 76 is here. My uh, old radio partner, Matt Donovan. You guys want to hear what Matty D sounds like? Here, here he is. The following is a presentation of Morning Drive Media. That's, that's sexy. That's sexy right there. Uh, yeah, Mr. D. Uh, last week was delayed. Every week's delayed. But we're here. We are... Marshall, but da, 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 okay. <laughs> oh no, first rate Nate. What are you doing to me? You're gonna get me in trouble, first rate Nate. But I, I welcome it. I welcome trouble. Let's build these twice. Did I do any stand up in Detroit? No. Um I've never been to Detroit, which is probably why I find it easier to make fun of. <laughs> hey, all right. Um, my old roommate is, uh, he won a comedy festival in Detroit with Bob and then opened up a show uh, with uh, Bob Saget uh, there a couple of years ago. All right. What do we got here? We're, I think we're missing some. What's going on here? I think, I 
I think we got some. He's what's going on here? Wait a wait a second. Do 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 do. No, okay. What? No, those got those. Got, sorry, guys. I may have missed. Did I completely miss something last week? Hold on. Here's some hold music for you all. I need I need to go check that. All right, we're back. Sorry, creaky chair. My new chairs are on the way, finally. All right, so here is... Um, it wouldn't be a brick bill with something going wrong. Thank you, Lauren, for the support. So I had these left over last week, or or, the, or two weeks ago. You guys remember that? Old Hansar probably remembers that. All right, those are left. Well, I think I forgot. To, I didn't put them on. Look at this right here. These, uh, they show being right here, and I didn't put them on. That is what I missed. Ooh, I'm not saying I'm a detective. I have investigated crimes before, but call me Sherlock Brick Holmes. That's a bad name. That's not even, that's not even a Josh pun. Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Everyone vote in the poll. What's the poll? Where's the poll? Mm -mm -mm. what's the over under oh there we go yeah i'm gonna vote in the poll if you're on twitch we got a poll going if you're watching on youtube or watching on youtube later god bless you god bless you all right everybody brick moriarty <laughs> i think that one works better okay all right yeah, that is better. Okay, guess what? Now we can really start building. I am a regular eagle eye cherry. I got that one right away. Uh -huh, and then that goes in there. See? Save tonight. I'm um, tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be gone. Uh, Bricklock Homes, that could work. Uh, yeah, I added that poll feature. So, door has some control here. Uh, I, I gotta make, um, I, I gotta give some new powers out to some new names. But door has got some poll power. Fight the break of dawn, come tomorrow. Tomorrow we'll be gone. <clears throat> Sorry, all you know, I cherry fans, uh, I love them too. <clears throat> Lauren Romo is I'm sorry I'm clearing my throat like an old man at a barber shop. <clears throat> <clears throat> you want a buzz cut? Color Jerry's here. Do you think when Ahsoka sees a clear bond between Mando and the child, she'll be one won't take him knowing what happened to Anakin? Nah, I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm not uh I don't over speculate with that stuff. So I don't expect Ahsoka to be huge in the show. Uh, but I could very well be mistaken. And in fact, I prefer when I'm wrong. So, no, I don't, uh, I don't quite know how they're going to use that character. Okay. I don't, I, something about these particular pieces. I don't like these ones. T. Peterson here. First stream for T. Peterson. Everybody, welcome T. Peterson, 118, to the stream, to the extreme. Uh, Maddie D, you still there? Maddie D, still there? How, how's life up there, man? I gotta check in. I'm not gonna be heading up there for a bit, but uh, um, hope it's going well. Welcome, T. Peterson. Uh, my plans for Thanksgiving are nowhere. 
Go absolutely nowhere. Subhype fair smoothana. But thanks for asking, Color Jerry. What are your uh, what are your Thanksgiving plans? Uh, Graham Gray Jackal celebrated Thanksgiving on the fourth. Uh, I'm going to try a bag. I kept a bag of that uh, candy, old hand saw that you sent me. Absolutely kept it. I'm going to try. I got to. Right. I, I, for someone like me who loves candy corn, I've got to. I've got to try that. Twilight of the Apprentice. Uh, yeah, I got to. Yeah, I wouldn't think, Lauren, I, I'm, I'm there with you. I wouldn't think that. Uh, Animated shows remastered would be a, dra a dramatic difference, but I'm taking your word for it there. You're the host of the Galactic Podcast, so I have to. I swear this is weird. Okay. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, the candy corn, like the cranberry sauce candy corn, like, all right, that makes some sense. I can get behind that. But the fact that they got candy corn that's like roasted turkey, like, eh? Uh, Ferris Mathena says, wait, yeah, can you like candy corn? Holy shit. Um, yes, I love candy corn. Uh, definitely not Trey is here. Oh, Trey, I gotta, I gotta actually, I'm gonna click over and do something right now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna mark as Trey supported me on Jemmy for Saturday Night Knapsack, and I forgot to mark that as complete there it goes it's completed yay thanks trey thanks trey for supporting me on jimmy.com dot no jimmy.app slash saturday night i'm sorry uh some uh, jds i'm visiting any family uh no visiting no traveling um i am a this is a pandemic and we are staying inside type of guy so uh we're uh, we're not go traveling and uh, not going to go to my hometown till they get a little bit of their act together. And i um, going to celebrate quietly here at home. Okay. Mr. D says, if I have code purple restrictions, yeah, so, so are we. We got a curfew down here. Uh, I saw that video you posted, Matt. That was a great video. Uh, Mr. D, Matt E.D., Spirit of 76, posted a... Great video on his Facebook page of a rocket launch over at Vandenberg Air Force Base. Um, and I watched every second of it, Matt. Uh, you love that stuff. Matt, did, Matt, have you watched the Netflix documentary on uh, the Challenger yet? That's got to be right up your alley. Um, Mark Riley's here. Oh, see, Mark Riley. Everybody say hi to Mark Riley. Mark Riley. Um, is I believe the conspiracy theory I have is that Mark Riley was the leader of the get the candy corn out of the office. Cause I showed up to the office we're building the other day and I walked in and, and like Josh and, and Mark were like, we're dumping the, they're dumping the candy corn. It's out of here. It's out of here. It's like, what do you mean? They're like, get that stuff out of here. And I'm like, well, what do I do? Uh, Derek, I don't know. You're fired if you keep that in here. And I was like, wow, this is an intense conversation. Um, so we took it down the street, or I took it down the street and left it by a uh, residentially challenged person's uh, sleeping bag. And the last night I saw him eating it. So I feel as though I've done a good thing. I feel as though I'm a hero. Mark Riley tried to destroy my candy corn dreams. I don't know why candy corn became such a focal point for hate. It's kind of like the pineapple on pizza thing. Sugar energy. Uh, well, Graham, you know it's an office, so someone wants to. Do, you want to take a <laughs> quote liquid crap on your lawn? On my lawn? It's not my. It's not mine. Uh, sub hype. A lot of uh, like uh, color jerseys. What's my opinion? The last four episodes of the final season of Clone Wars. Uh, you can go to Force Center. And get all the details of that on the Clone Wars report if you're looking for a little bit more from me. But uh, I loved them. I, I loved the last season, the Clone Wars. Bad Batch stuff was uh, was good. It was good. Um, I don't I'm not super 
one of the give me a bad batch series people, but I definitely am going to watch it. Uh, the candy. No, no. Tell you what, uh, you know what? Uh, old hands off. First of all, let's bring up Mark Riley. Who's just, uh, you know, hope you guys are giving Mark Riley's uh, Twitch page a follow. He and Julie do some great stuff, hanging out, playing video games, watching movies, getting drunk. Um, so if you're not sub to Mark, please sub to Mark. But to answer your question, old hands, so do the candy corn stink up the office? No, the candy corn was perfect. The candy corn, there's you needed nothing more for uh, a, a joy in the office than candy corn. It was perfect. It was it was God's gift, and um, Mark Riley shat on it. Sorry, right. we'll still work together. We can't wait. Hey, Amblin Souls here. We cannot wait to really let you guys in on uh, what we're doing. Um, we're starting to tease it because we want you to get ready. Also, it's very short. <laughs> we're already kind of behind. Uh, we need to get the word out. Yeah, but Mark Riley, Josh Bakuga, and I, man, we're just gonna we're we, we're gonna take a big swing at some cool stuff, and um, we hope you're all excited. We hope you all get excited. Hope you all get hyped. Hype train. There, you talk about a hype train. That's a hype train. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, Mr. D says, no, I haven't heard about it. Oh, my gosh, Matt, you got to. Uh, yeah, very sad day in the fourth grade. I've been told to take the Disney Plus show with Mercury Pro. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, you don't stream is your problem. Well, that is a problem. You've got to stream. Get yourself the Netflix and watch uh, the four-part documentary series on The Challenger, uh, the final flight of The Challenger. It had me in tears, uh, but also had me upset uh the way some some things went down like it was it was crazy it's great you gotta do it you gotta do it get on that streaming what are you what are you watching vhs tapes come on mr d road to trip to bountiful uh is it's probably on disney plus i haven't checked but it probably is do 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 um mr d uh mr d uh <laughs> the director's cut look i i love physical media I, I got no problem um with physical media and i, I know mr d uh, maddie d spirit of 76 my old radio partner in high school buddy and uh college buddy and hometown buddy and buddy um is a great collector of that stuff so i i love physical media i know a lot of people in chat probably love physical media but uh you know takes up space gets dusty when, once you move three times you're like i don't i don't i'm just gonna get rid of this and stream but comics i still collect i don't go digital with comics so i get it so i uh, you know i'm not casting aspersions on, on anyone but oh where's that piece where's that piece there we go i'm doing that thing where the more i reach for the piece um the more I push it under there. Oop, text incoming from Mark Ellis. Mark Ellis and... Oh, okay. Sorry, I can't read that one on air. Um, okay, what do we got? Let's get back to this little uh, fun little box here. Okay. Uh, do I know? Do I own every Star Wars movie on physical media? Uh, I do, except for Rise of Skywalker. I haven't added that to the collection yet. Uh, mostly because it's been a year of you know making sure I save my allowance money. But I uh, will probably add that soon. No problems there. Catching up with chat here. Sorry. Uh, old Hansel talking about a documentary about Susie Quattro. I saw that. I haven't seen it, but I saw it like on uh, like a thumbnail or something. Interested. Interested. Any? I'm excited about the Bee Gees documentary coming out. Charlie Steiner is in it. Um, Carlo Jerry's favorite Star Wars poster. Um, like I talking about like the Struzan ones. Uh, special edition stuff, like not special, not these special editions, but like I have some here in the office that I that I like that are like premieres or something like that. I think of the classic ones, 
Uh, I might go Empire Strikes Back. Maybe. I don't know. Return of the Jedi was pretty cool, too. I like the Struz and stuff. Uh, yeah, I used to be crazy buying, buying Blu-rays. Actually, not Blu-rays, but DVDs. The old digital video discs. Um, it was just part of, like, my weekly routine, which is why, I no joke, why I have too much debt in my life. I would... Uh, I would uh, uh, every Tuesday go to Best Buy. Didn't even need to. Just like, let's go see what's there. I'd stop. I'd stop. Do, 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 do. Uh, yeah, the fact, yeah, the, the Rise of Skywalker release on Disney Plus. Like, I just, I, you know, I don't have the immediate need obviously to to own it but i i definitely yeah it's 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 all my star wars physical media is um on display jd asked do i still own a vhs player uh we do i got rid of mine unfortunately um uh, because i had uh, one that grace had and hers is not working so i uh need it um no oh, the bg's documentary looks great an hbo doc cannot wait to watch it but Charlie Steiner, famous for ESPN and uh, announcing, sports announcing, follow me, follow me to freedom. That guy, that Charlie Steiner, um, he was a he was a DJ before, like a, like a radio DJ. So they, he's in there talking about playing the BGS, play disco and everything. So I can't wait for that. That Eagles doc, Mark Ellison, I still talk about that Eagles documentary. And we're both not even like huge Eagles fans. I think yeah. Well, old hand, so you are hip to me. You're you're hip to be square. Lauren Romo says, uh, "Rise of Skywalker's first stars movie that I don't have physically got it on a digital." But Lauren, I, I, is it fair to say you'll probably add it digitally? You'll probably get there, right? I mean, or physically, you'll probably get there. But no, there's no immediate need for it. So I, I, you know, that's where I'm at too. Star Wars Alice says, okay, so I sliced my own bread. Alice, we know you're having a grumpy day. Um, but slicing your own bread can get you out of there. Can get you out of a bad mood. Come tomorrow. Tomorrow. Now that song's in my mind. I cannot get it out of my head. Mm -mm -mm. After after this, after I'm done streaming, I am going to be making uh, what's for dinner, what's for well, lunch for me. But uh, a lot of you, like Kirsten McGee, live in another world, so uh, it's like another day. Um, what do you guys? Um, what do you guys' predictions? Uh, maybe that could be the poll. No, what? How we can answer that right now? Uh, what are the predictions for what I'm making for a late lunch? Yes, this passes for content now. Me trying to get you to guess what my lunch is. Alice is grumpy today. Uh, broccoli's involved? No, no. Good, good guess. Uh, skinless enchiladas? Skinless enchiladas. No, mm, no. I do like that, though. I make that mix and just have that. Pizza, says Bador. I'm not making pizza, but we do want some pizza. Pineapple pizza. Not this time. Not this time. Love me some pineapple. Canadian bacon and uh, pineapple pizza. Not today. But I could probably make some with some cauliflower crust. Bacon on pizza is good. Am I making uh, vegan pizza? No, good guess. Hey, Cheryl. Um, I'm just reading Bedore's comments now. Um, bacon on pizza. I do love bacon on pizza. Tofu? No, no. To I do have some. Uh, gosh, you're actually reminding me. I have some tofu I got to get to. That's uh, Graham, you're about a day off from tofu and broccoli based. That's not today. That's probably tomorrow. All right. It is. Uh, it is vegan. It is vegan. That I can confirm. Blue Oreos, little macaroons. No, no space Oreos here. No, no space, ma space maroons. 
That's true, Grab. It is tomorrow for you, but it ain't tomorrow for me. Um, Whoa, where is oh, okay. Um frozen burrito? No, that was yesterday's dinner. You're all close. I'm all right, all right. I am making um homemade french fries and chicken sandwiches, but no chicken. It's the uh it's the uh uh vegan chicken. The breaded vegan chicken, which is really good. Today, chicken surprise. There's no chicken. Uh, Houston Johnny says, today for you is yesterday for me. Well, that's a great lyric. Johnny, I want you to turn that into a song by the end of the stream here. Right? I think that that today for you is yesterday for me. Slice some onions, tomatoes, a little lettuce. We got a vegan cilantro sauce. Put that on there. And it'll be good. Um, Grace is not having that. She's just having the home fries. The homemade French fries. Monday over Norway, favorite Thanksgiving meal. Um, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm pretty simple with it: turkey, ham, and mashed potatoes. But mashed potatoes are the things I gotta have. So, um, not having any, uh, no turkey or ham this year for Thanksgiving. But um, I've requested that I still get the mashed potatoes. Because really. That's the main event for me. That is the Thanksgiving main event. Yesterday, yes, lumps in uh, lumps in your mashed potatoes. I I don't mind them a little lumpy there, Atomic Punk. She's lump, she's lump, she's lump, she's in my head. Hey, Whiteout Fifty Two is here. What's up, Whiteout? Hit it, who? What's up, Zach? Zach, I saw your Christmas tree. That's just great. Good stuff. Good stuff. Nice domestic life going on there. Stuffing. Uh, not huge on the stuffing, Lauren, but I'll do it as long as it is gravy. The key is gravy. Really, uh, my Thanksgiving meal is all, it's, it's just an excuse to have gravy on everything. The ham, the turkey, the broccoli, the stuffing, the three bean salad, the corn bean, the green bean salad, the cornbread. And of course, the mashed potatoes. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your name is. It uh, just matters that I got gravy. Excuse me. Oh, boy. Oh, that sounded like a snotty kid. I apologize for that. Um, but stuffing. Next day, Thanksgiving Day hash. Old hands saw better nap on Thanksgiving. That's the that's his that's his that's his time, man. Old hands saw lives for it, man. He works. In fact, it's fair to say that uh, uh, old hands saw uh, practices naps all year for the main event nap on Thanksgiving. Confirmed. Uh, 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 uh. Nick Bascom checking in on YouTube. What was JR from the show Dallas's favorite Star Wars ship? The U-Wing. That is a great, that is a great kind of pun joke, but also not just a Star Wars joke. It's a great classic 80s TV joke. In fact, uh, Matty D, Spirit of 76, if he's uh, still in chat, he's one of the biggest Dallas fans I've ever met in my life. Like, I mean, we're talking like he should do a podcast about Dallas. Like a rewatch of classic Dallas every episode. Matt, why don't you do that? That'd be a big winner. Big winner. It really would. Nap practice. Nap. 
napping chair hasn't bucked me off yet. I love that you have a napping chair. Uh, old hands, so let's let's chat about naps. What uh, what are the best naps? Is it in a chair? Do you do you enjoy going back to bed? Maybe laying on top of the bed, uh, you know, in in some comfy pants, or just uh, 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 collapsing in a corner on the couch. Is it a nap? And, and this is a great question from Ranger Donald. This is the kind of stuff I want to know. Uh, is it a nap when you nap in your bed? Uh, I I count it as a nap, right? Like, I think it is. Car nap. Car nap. Oh, yeah, especially when you're driving. Um, You know what I mean? Like, I, I old hands, uh, what do you feel? You're the nap expert here. Patrick Ewing. Oh, Kyle's on fire. Fire. Uh, chair naps just happen. There you go. Oh, thanks for the super chat, Nick, over there on YouTube. I appreciate that, Nick. I appreciate not only your super chat, but even more than your super chat. I appreciate your reference to J.R. Ewing. I really do. Slurpy frap. Yeah, nap sock. You know, it's built into my name, too. I love a good nap. But see, I, I, my favorite, this is why I ask, I, this is, this is an important question. We, we always get to the good things here. Bed nap. Okay. Bed is for sleeping. Uh, let's see. Where does that quote go? Uh, bed is for sleeping. Naps are for rebooting. Oh, I like that. It's a bed nap. What is sleep? Yeah, Bedore, you don't sleep. If you, vi if you visit the United States of these America soon here, Bedore, um, yeah. Uh, oh, Mr. D checking in. Says, I thought about that, actually. I own the physical media of Dallas. Best villain was Larry Hagman as John Ross Ewing. Yeah, I don't disagree with that at all. Uh, this is so I think you should launch the the Dallas podcast. Matt, you got a winner. You got a winner, winner, chicken dinner right there sitting in front of you. You got a lot of uh, income potential with that here. On, uh, just put on YouTube or Twitch. You guys would all watch that. You got yourself followers right here waiting for you to talk about Dallas. Stop dating women who didn't know who shot JR. Um, yeah, no, I mean, that's fair. It also limits the dating pool to, uh, you can only go one way with it. You know what I mean? Um, where did that little thing go? Where did that fiendish thingy go? So back to the naps. Um, we never leave, never go too far away from the naps. Oh, there it is. There it is. Um, uh, my favorite nap is to actually go back to bed. 40, J.R. Ewing was shot 40 years ago. Gosh. Like, that's one of the first things I really remember. I was about four or five. I've, you know. I didn't watch the show. I don't even know if my parents watched the show, but I just remember knowing that someone, I don't know who shot JR, but someone did. Johnny's humming the uh, Dallas theme right now. There you go. You got yourself a suitor right there, man. Um, I, I prefer taking like a nap, like a two o'clock on a Sunday afternoon in bed, going completely back to bed. And I don't know if that counts for some people. Three channels. Oh, yeah. Dukes of Hazard, MASH. That's about it around our place. I remember when my dad got cable. It was like cable. And, then, and he turned on ESPN. He's like, it's, it's a channel just about sports. And I was like, oh, who would watch that? And like race car driving was on it. And I was like, oh, well, okay. Who would know? Who knew that life could change? Dynasty, Graham Gray, Jungle Butler, Dynasty fan. Matty D, did you enjoy Dynasty as much as Dallas? I don't recall you talking about Dynasty as much. I watched a lot of Benson. Benson? I watched a lot of Benson. I didn't understand what I was watching, but I watched a lot of Benson. Old Hens says, if you go back to, if he, he goes back to bed, he's down for the count. That's fair. No, I, I, yeah, you got to be careful with naps. You do, you go too far with a nap and it just messes up the rest of your day. You wake up nauseated, sweaty, disoriented, kind of like me after a drunk movie fights. It's not always great. All right, we're almost coming to the end of this bag here. Buck Rod, I mean, I loved Buck Rogers and the original Battlestar and the rebooted Battlestar. 
Uh, Alec Baldwin was in Falcon Quest. Oh, I love that kind of stuff too. Yeah. Um, Buck Rogers Dynasty. Yeah. Uh, try L.A. Law. Harry Hamlin. There you go. Yep. Yep. Punky Brewster. That's another. That's I do remember watching Punky. I mean, Different Strokes. I was a big Different Strokes fan. Different Strokes rule the world. Mr. Drummond, Philip Drummond. He was so nice to those kids. Jefferson's. Classics. A team. Yeah, I you know what's fun? I didn't watch a ton of A team because I was all about Airwolf. Galactica nineteen eighty. Oh, that's a good call, old handsaw. That is up there with Aftermash as the bad follow ups. <laughs> Wilma Deering fan. Uh, yeah, I didn't watch a lot of A-Team, but uh, all about Airwolf. Chips and Airwolf were my favorite shows. A-Team was Tuesday, APM CBS is uh, uh, Matters for Airwolf was too. Uh, yeah, old Battlestar was great. Old hand, so didn't I see? Who did you put? You posted. So, uh, was that a Battlestar picture or a Buck Rogers picture you posted today? I can't remember. Right? I can't remember. <laughs> Vermont Mike. It was Battlestar Galactica, right? Yeah, Cassiopeia. I remember that. Yeah, Vermont Mike, you're right. We are we are uh, children of the bicentennial, indeed, uh, or thereabouts, most of us here. Not everyone, but most of us. That's hilarious. Athena, that's right. Athena or Cassiopeia. Oh, that was great, old hand saw. That made me laugh. That made me do some laughing. Little House on the Prairie, says Ranger Donald. Yeah. Uh, that's right. Oh, uh, man, you guys are great with the classic stuff. Uh, Dana Carvey was co-pilot on short-lived Blue Thunder. He was, oh, my gosh, yeah, the Blue Thunder TV show because they had the movie with Roy Snyder, and then, oh, yeah, wow. That's some good some stuff right there. What is this? Is there, everybody? This is kind of, I'm, I've reached the quiet point of the stream. Kind of figure out the tiny little things. A team that movie with Bradley Cooper. Yep. Definitely. Perfect strangers. Yeah, now you get a little later. That late 80s kind of murder she wrote. Good call. I love going to Universal Studios and seeing the set there. Mork and Mindy, Quark. I do remember Quark, old hand song. Uh, I didn't watch much nice Night Rider. Big Mork. My mom loved Robin Williams, so the house always had Mork and Mindy on. So I was also a fan of Jonathan Winters. Night Rider. We didn't have a lot of Night Rider. I think I was I was loyal to Dukes of Hazard, which is interesting because in retrospect, maybe that wasn't the car I should have been loyal to. Uh, I should have been more loyal to the. The Knight Rider, because I had a I had a ton of uh, General Lee, <laughs> a ton of General Lee Matchbox toys that, uh, you know, looking back now, we just didn't view it like that back then. So I should have gone to uh, Knight Rider there. I would not I would not collect the General Lee now. Uh, Matty D says, do you remember the late 80s, early 90s show, Dear John? Uh, first ever recorded VHS show was episode of Night Rider. Yes. I, 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 oh, God. Who was, who was in Dear John? I do remember that. It wasn't Lara Cat, right? Lara Cat wasn't in that one. But it wasn't. There was another kind of 80s, 90s mainstay act, actor, TV actor guy that was in it, I thought. Good pull, Matt. Good pull. Judd Hirsch. Was it Judd Hirsch? It was Judd Hirsch. It was. Oh, look, you old folks here on the stream. Look at, first of all, you're all streaming here on Twitch. Laverne and Shirley, great. 
Taxi was great. I uh, loved Laverne and Shirley. In fact, I've I've talked about this before, but uh, maybe on the podcast or something. But the first concert, there's two concerts I remember going right around the same time. The first ever shows, like music concerts I ever went to was, number one, Debbie Boone at the Mid-State Fair, which is up in Atascadero, my hometown. Uh, and then the same, I, who knows, it might have been the same weekend. We saw it like on another um we saw on another uh, stage, a smaller stage, the the actor who played Carmine on uh, Laverne and Shirley was also apparently a singer. God bless those multi talented, and uh, we saw, we saw him in concert. Um, Golden Girls, yeah, my friend Jen Murrell loves Golden Girls. Oh, I watched him. Uh, Return, Rescue from Gilligan's Island. Uh, it was a good Christmas movie. David Ruprecht played uh, Thurston Howe uh, the fourth, right? What shows were acceptable for Mama Knapsack? Not a lot. Not a lot. Uh, Cosby Show, but the only one. <laughs> Which, in retrospect, uh, you know, you, you just didn't know. Unless you really paid attention the V miniseries, I was scared of that, G. Grant. Unless you really paid attention to some of Cosby's uh, stand-up records in the 70s where he's talking about going to get Spanish flies. Uh, you know, maybe you didn't see it coming unless you paid a little attention there. But again, who knew? <laughs> Love seeing... Okay, Laura and Romo might need to go to bed without dinner. Love seeing all my elders embracing new platforms like Twitch. You are true examples of how technology can keep one young. First of all, you're not wrong, Lauren. <laughs> uh, you're not wrong, Lauren. I believe adapting to new technology or new styles of clothing is um, key to uh, maintaining, uh, uh, you know, your youth. Um. But uh, that hurts, Lauren. I gotta tell you, that hurts. <laughs> Brutal. V mini series had me scared that anyone could secret be a secret lizard person. Yeah, you know exactly. And and I think a lot of people took that uh, to heart, Kyle. I think uh, a lot of people are like, yeah, that's. I look for the build in the Ewing. I have no idea. I get what this. Oh, this is probably okay. Now I see what this is. We are building the carriage here of the uh, Ewing. We uh, grew up alongside tech. We programmed VCRs for our parents. This is true. It's just, look, it's a, t it's, it's a thing. I get it. I don't like TikTok. Um, <laughs> Lauren Romo's just been banned. Hey, Laser Bolts is here. Welcome. Ooh, I'll Nick, Nick with the poll. I'm going to pull that in from YouTube here, the comment on YouTube. Tom Willard was a supporting actor in Dear John in the background most episodes, but he currently has a YouTube channel called Feature Man. He has a lot of cool old Hollywood stories. Oh, that's good. I love that kind of stuff. There you go. Trey's right. Did you use that little screwdriver to dial in channels on the VCR? Um, okay. Ooh, here we go. Oh, we're getting ready here. We're getting ready to really add some stuff here. Okay. Again, sorry, I don't have the lav mic on. I'm lazy. I just remember my first VCR uh, had a wired remote control. Okay. All right, that's not too bad there. Interesting. I should put this in front of the camera, thus the point of the stream. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We've definitely done some things wrong. <laughs> OK, 
coaxial cable, yeah. Sorry, bear with me, kids. Okay, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Are you watching Survivor Series tonight for the 30th anniversary of Undertaker? Uh, I'm not, but that sounds cool. Beta. I don't know if we had any Betamax. My teacher, one of my history or economics teachers in high school had um, a Laserdisc. We watched Glory on, on Laserdisc, which is one of my favorite movies. Okay. Sorry. I, I Sometimes I have to actually concentrate on the thing I'm building here. VHS is the way movies are meant to be seen. I don't know if this piece is supposed to go in. It's not really showing. I guess I should turn the page. Yeah. Okay. See? That one goes in. This one, not so much. Okay. A video disc player. Hold on. I need to actually get a little flashlight going. Hmm. All right. Let's try this. Hey, we did it. We did it. We wrote the bung. Gonna, gonna, no. Nah, huh? All right. We are gonna probably knock that on the floor if I put that over there. Uh, what do we got here? What do we got here? Laser bolts. Look at that. Look at that X-Wing outfit, laser bolts. I think that's impressive. At Star Wars Celebration, Chicago, I saw you while I was waiting in line for the trivia show. I call, I yelled your name. You looked at me and said, nice mustache. High life. Well, well now I'm saying nice X-Wing outfit and nice mustache, laser bolts. You're a double winner. I don't, I kind of remember that Chicago celebration uh, was number one. Number one, it was so Chicago celebration was so awesome because that's where I met Lauren Romo. And she said, hi, even though you're de decrepit and old, I listen to your show and I enjoy it. And I was like, thank you. That's the highlight of Chicago celebration for me. Lauren Romo said, hi, I'm from Detroit. And um, even though you're really old, you're okay. Okay. That sounds, that sounds great. Uh, so I don't remember every detail of Chicago. So laser bolts, I'm glad we had that moment. True story, Lauren. True story. Just back it up. Re oh, I had a rewind machine. My dad had one for a while, I should say. I certainly didn't. What do we got? We got Star Wars Celebration Anaheim back on 2022. Is that what it is, Graham? You got the tickets. I saw some. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, Maddie D walked through the curtain at the video store. No one wants to do that. That's not the that's not the right curtain to walk through. August 2022. I know, Lauren. You know, it was a great beginning. 
uh, to just a, a wonderful Star Wars friendship. You know, and I'll try to be younger. Nick says, hey, I also met you at one of the Orlando style of celebrations, the Schmoes meetup. Uh, oh, yeah, I do kind of remember that. Showing a pick on Jedi Alliance. There we go. All right, we got some uh, we got some decals. Y'all ready for this? Two and four. Okay, we need some. We got some decal music going on here right now. We are going to be putting some decals down. Because... I get real stressed when I do these Lego stickers because I can't do them that well. I don't know all the tricks. And it's time to play the music of Kojak. To relax. Ooh, that sticker's going on. Good. Oh, that was some good stick. Yeah, I'm here to talk about good stick. Everybody wants good stick. It's important to have good stick. Definitely not traces. Relax. Oh, that one went on a little crooked. We're going to try to take that off. You should take it off too. Hey, all right. Imagine someone just swinging in for the first time, going, "Yeah, oh, I remember Ken from when he used to do the Schmoes News, and I laughed every once in a while." Why is he building Legos and talking like Barry White and Wolfman Jack while he builds toys? This is how far I've fallen, everybody. All right, now nah, look at that. I think that's a good stick. That's a good stick. Good stick. Just one brick. Be one with the brick. Thank you, everybody, everybody, for supporting me through that. Very, very tense. Andrew Cooks here back in the 60s for even VHS. I got some LPs that recorded some British TV, not just Monty Python, either the old puppet series, Thunderbirds. Ah, oh, Thunderbirds are great. Um, I'm watching the, um, I think it's a couple years old, uh, cause Terry Jones has since passed away. Um, the Monty Python doc on, uh, Netflix as well. Uh, like the lawyer's edition or whatever it's called. It's really good. Oh, interesting. We're going to build ourselves a little door here. Okay. Ingenious Lego people. I'm going to break this. I'm going to break this. I'm going to break it. I didn't break it. Oh, I broke something else. Oh, that worked. I think that worked. There we go. There we go. Oh, my gosh. I succeeded in a goal I had today. Wow. I don't succeed much in life. It's good to succeed every now and then. Thank you, Slurpee Frap. I saw your uh, encouraging word. Uh, Graham, we don't, yeah, we don't talk about Orlando. I saw your comment back there. Uh, it's functional. All right, this will be the end. And then after this, I got to I got to go get that lunch going. Grace is going to come racing in here, upset. Going, where's my homemade French fries? Oh, we've got some more stickers coming. The hollows. Uh, am I looking forward to the Peter Jackson Let It Be documentary? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, yes, I am. It does not seem like I did that right. 
Did not do that right. Wrong side. That's better. Okay. All right. We've got a couple more decals on here, but we've got one and three. Okay. All right. All right. There we go. Let's put the decals on, my friends. This is what we want. This is what we want. Decals going where decals go. <sighs> That's great. Oh, yeah, right there. Thank you for everyone encouraging me to stick things well. We are going to stick the landing here. Again, music by Kojak. Yeah, we did it. That's some good stick. That's good stick. Eh, a little cricket on the crease. We're okay. I should fade that out. Thank you. Channel 19 says good stick. Good stick. Good stick. I need like a graphic that pops up. Good stick. Doom, doom. Meow, meow, meow. Uh, 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 uh. Aaron, the author is here. Uh, I mean, look, you're not late. I'm here for about five more minutes. Lego Cantina set is the best looking set yet. Really? Uh, yeah. I mean, I like the, I already have some of the, the smaller versions of it that they've done over the years. And those are, those look great. We have stick off. Maddie, uh, Maddie D's talking about Marky Post crush here. Oh, yeah. And there's something about Mary. Marky Post on fire. Do it. All right. I think these are our extras. We'll deal with that. But we haven't done the entire extra yet. We don't have the over under for the whole package yet. Okay. Okay, what do we got? Oh, these are like the little oh wow. I just got I just got the design. Those little things I built are Bistan's guns, the belly guns. This is where I break things. This is where I break things. I still got that clip I gotta put up on YouTube. Old Hansuck clipped out my uh, breaking of the Wampa Cave, which still sits in my storage unfinished. I just couldn't emotionally get back to it. Oh, oopsie. Yeah, okay. We didn't do this one as good. <laughs> We did not do this one as good, kids. All right. Let's go back to the beginning. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, top 10 sports movies for me. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Um, Ken Burns baseball count. That's pretty much all I put there. Field of Dreams. A League of Their Own. There's baseball in Memphis Bell for two seconds. I think I'd put Memphis Bell in there for sports movies. No, I'll have to, I'll have to look closer at that. Jason Valdez is there working on the Lego Rise of Skywalker Falcon. It's great. Can you rank the sequel trilogy best to least favorite? Um, uh, I, I go Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, Force Awakens, though I find myself watching... Um, Rise of Skywalker more than any of them right now. I just love that movie so much. Hoosiers. Ooh, good pull, Matty D. I do like... I saw Hoosiers at uh, Festival Cinemas, I believe. Or no, maybe... No, you know what? I think I, I saw Hoosiers at Fair Oaks. Oh, there. Thank you. Yeah, old hand side. 
thank you for reminding me. I have a podcast I put too much effort into and don't tell anyone about. Rudy, never seen Rudy. Don't tell, don't tell Mark Harris, Mark, Mark Ellis, Mark Harris. Who's Mark Harris? Don't tell Mark Ellis. I've never seen Rudy. We did it. We did it. I'm really happy with that. I feel like I accomplished something. Uh, yeah, I put the wrestler in there as a sports movie. Sports entertainment. Look at this. And then the little gun comes out. I'll get this in the camera view. Look at that, man. And then Bistan's gun goes in and the door shuts. Oops, where it is. There it is. Where is it? Ah, oh, that's some that's great door. That's great door. Love it. All right. Love it. We are wrapping up here. Uh thank you for uh thank for you thank you for your patience, everybody. I know uh my streaming has been very um erratic. It's been a crazy month. We are building this studio office thing. Oops, I just slipped out the word studio. Oopsie, but yep. Something big is coming, and I hope you all follow uh, us on the, an adventure. But uh, this this will always remain. Brick building, my Twitch channel, everything will remain. Uh, we're just adding to what we put out there. Um, but uh, this is uh, – so it's been busy. We've been doing a lot of cool things. But um, look at this. All right. I love that. Okay, so we got uh, we got some minifigs going. Put these up here for now. Uh, thank you for watching Atomic Punk. Thank you for the conversation. Uh, am I doing personal stuff like this new place? No. It's going to be something bigger than just me. This I can assure you. Okay, look at that. We got the mini fig parade. Uh, I'm going to put this on my desk where it will sit until uh, next week. Mm, no, no, Bright Tree Village. Um, not over there, at least. Uh, so that's uh, that's what we do. I guess you, uh, you guess you're going to want to see my face. Well, I don't know why, but you get to see my face here on the end of the stream in my El Paso Chihuahua's hat. Alice, uh, it's okay. It's okay that you're grumpy, but as the great Saint Bobby McFerrin once sang in about 1988, don't worry, be happy. All right. Um, so uh, we got two more bags left. Maybe next week. I don't want to stretch it out to five, but I think. Let me look at these. Uh, let me look at these bags here. Yeah, I think. I think we can do both of these in one stream. Like uh, being now, I'm just being lazy. So next Sunday, Thanksgiving Day weekend, face hype, face hype. Uh, thank you, Bedore. Uh, next uh, next weekend, around the same time, I'll finish the U-Wing. We'll get on with life, and it'll be great. Uh, thank you all for joining. Thank you for any cheers, uh, super chats. I don't think I missed any of them. Thank you for Nick for that super chat. Uh, thank you for subs, for a lot of you resubbing today more than anything as I kind of get back up here. Uh, back on, on uh, here. Uh, there was a new show that I was going to launch. Um, um, there was a new show I was going to launch here on Twitch and YouTube. Not going to be here. Going to be somewhere else. So stay tuned for that. Clink, clink. All right, my friends. All right. That is it for this week. Uh, always fun. Always fun. Hanging out. Building Legos. Telling stories. Doing all the things. We'll see you next week. Bye.